Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over rolling back local stage changes in Git. This should be quite a simple and fast tutorial for you as well. If there's any questions you have, drop them in the comments below. So what I want to do is I want to make a change to a text document that I have inside my repository from the last video. So I'm going to open up subscribe and let's drag that over and let's say why haven't oh, cannot type why haven't you done this yet in a very aggressive manner i'm going to save that and if i go to my git bash and do git space status what we see now is we have one change which is ready to be staged and staged means it's ready to go and be committed and then pushed up so I'm going to say git add dot, which adds all the files. In this case, it's just the change to that subscribe text. So I've now done a status. I've gone away, had a think and thought, oh, I don't want to actually commit this. I think the message is aggressive and I don't want to be aggressive. So what can I do here? Well, git actually helps us with this. It says we've got the changes to be committed, but if we want to unstage any of these, we can use the git restore command and then we can use the stage flag and add whatever file we want to unstage. So let's do that. I'm going to say git restore staged and the name of the file was subscribe. So subscribe txt. Now if I hit enter on this and do a git status, what we'll see now is it's no longer in the staging section. And that's because we've just said, well, I did add it there, but now I want to push it back. So my changes still exist. So if I open up the uh, subscribe text, we can see it's still there. I just said, I don't want them in staging anymore. So what if I said, I don't want the changes to be made to this file at all. I want to revert it back to what the file originally was. Well, Git already helps us with that as well. Git restore and the file and this discards the changes in our working directory. So let's just follow that. Let's say git restore and the name of this file is subscribe.txt. As soon as I hit enter now, all of my local changes should be gone. So let's do a git status. We can see there's nothing there. Let's uh, close this and reopen it because it hasn't updated it. And here we are, we've now gone back to our original state of the file of have you subscribed. And that's a really easy way and a, a good introduction to show you how you can kind of um, revert your changes in Git without having to, you know, manually go in and delete everything. You can do it all through the Git command line, even Git GUI tools. As always, thank you for watching and have a good day.